Hi everybody, Ed Diaz here. Uh, today I wanted to make a video to show you how to integrate the JDXI with the MX-1. And what I mean by that is I'm going to show you how to integrate the MX-1 to the JDXI so that way anything that you play on the JDXI is going to go into the MX-1 and once it's in the MX-1 you can use the various beat effects and master effects and even control tempo from the MX-1. Also start and stop. So let's go ahead and do that now. So here are a couple of settings that you have to make on the JDXI before you can do this. So let's look at the JDXI. We're going to go into Menu, System, press Enter. Now we're going to cursor over to the MIDI section. So I'm just going to hold it down. And right now it's on USB driver generic. I'm going to switch that one to Vendor. Now by switching that to Vendor, that makes it so that way the MIDI and the audio passes through the USB. So now I'm going to cursor to the left. Clock MIDI source, instead of MIDI, I'm going to have it go ahead and go from USB. Because remember, we're running USB directly into the MX-1, and the MX-1 will control the tempo of the JDXI. One last setting, we're going to cursor to the left one more time, and sync mode. Currently it's in master, I'm going to turn this one to slave. Now I'm going to exit, and you see it writes, system writes it. Now the other thing I need to do is just turn off the JDXI and restart it. Now what this does, this makes sure that all those parameters take effect. Uh, this is also how we hook up the JDXI to a computer as well. Make the uh, parameter changes that we need to make, and then we flip it off and flip it back on, and it's all set. Okay, so after I made these settings, I'm going to take the USB cable, and I plugged it into the, the, the JDXI. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug that USB into USB 1 of the MX1. Now let's give it a shot. Turn up the volume. There you go. So now, go ahead and start and stop. Let's go ahead and change to a different one. And now I'll change the program over here. So this is a good one right here. I'm going to use this as an example. So we have the JDXI being controlled by the MX-1. Start and stop on the MX-1. But what else can we do? Now that we're running MIDI plus audio to the MX-1, let's check out what else we can do. First off, I can spin the tempo and adjust the tempo live. Back and forth. Great, it's all set. If I wanted to, I could use tap tempo. And it's gonna change the JDXI, it's gonna follow. If I want to, I can hit define and find adjust my tempo. There it is. Now the only setting we had to make in the MX-1 is make sure it's in mixer mode. Then we went ahead and pressed the sync button and make sure it's in internal. That way the Roland products that are hooked up through USB and this comes from the version 1.03 OS that just came out for the MX-1. So that allows you to hook up the JDXI, JDXA, FAO8, FAO6, uh, Jupiter 50, and Jupiter 80. There'll probably be more to, more to follow, but that's a great start. So we just made sure it was internal, it's synced, and it's all set. Now let's go ahead and play in here, and uh, let's explore some of the effects. So here's, I'm going ahead and controlling the volume right there. Press select, and now I can adjust some of the different filter right here. Oops. Now let's press select, now we'll adjust some filter. So select on USB 1, and that's the JDXI. Has some filtering going on. Let's look at the beat effects. More filtering if I want. I'm going to go ahead and put on a slicer. I'm going to get it ready. And now we just turned that into a completely different sound. This is really a lot of fun. Let's take it off real quick. Maybe we'll put a side chain. And see it's going to side chain every other one. Let's go ahead and make it so. Great. Now let's put the side chain on. So beat effect, turn it on. That's really, really cool. Now let's go ahead and experiment with the master effects on the MX-1 using the JDXI as, as the music. So go ahead and I'm going to turn off the, the MFX right now. And I'm probably going to use delay. And let's just bring it in. And see with that now, I can go ahead and bring it back down. Very quick, very easy. Let's go ahead and try the scatter effect. I'll go ahead and turn off master effects on USB 1. Get my scatter ready so I can just punch it in. Pretty cool, very easy. Now check this out. 
If I wanted to, I could press and hold the scatter and check it out. There's different scatters available. So go ahead and do that. Turn it on. Let's bring it in. Maybe some bit crush. Of course, everyone's favorite, a little bit of a roll. That easy. So as you see, hooking up the JDX side to the MX-1 and letting the MX-1 MX do what it's supposed to be a mixed performer, now we can have even more fun with our JDXI. So check it out and I'm sure you're going to love it. All right, you guys take care. I'll talk to you later.